weather wise. But what about the weekend? Our guy Josh Nichols knows what's up. What's going on, Josh? Yeah, I think one day will be brighter than the other. We'll talk more about that here in just a little bit. In the meantime, we did manage 52 degrees in Buffalo today, 53 in the falls, only 45 in Olean, but really a seasonable and reasonable brand of chill. Nothing uh, that's uh, really uh, something to complain about, really, as we head into tonight. Uh, still a little bit of that breeze, plenty of clouds. Veterans Day, limited sunshine. Sunday ends up being the brighter of the two weekend days, but still a chill. The normal high is right around 50, and I don't think we're really out of the 40s. As far as that uh, Bills game day forecast is concerned, it is going to be on the milder side by the time we get to game day, but the breeze is going to be noticeable coming in out of the west and turning a little gusty. Temperatures will be dropping from the 40s into the 30s. If this type of chill is just a little too much, a little too soon, I've got some good news here for you. In the days leading up to Thanksgiving, temperatures are going to be above average. That means we actually have a shot at seeing 60 degrees and as far as precipitation levels are concerned it will be uh, just slightly above normal but really many days ahead that are dry right now 49 cloudy degrees in buffalo the breeze out of the west at eight miles per hour making it feel like 45 you're at 43 in olean right now 48 in the falls and 45 in jamestown we do have a disturbance here to our south and east that's exiting to our south and east so no concern there but you may have seen some mid and high level cloudiness looking south as we look at super doppler and satellite not much happening here we do have a couple of showers out towards the Genesee Valley and the Finger Lakes, a couple of spot spritzes and sprinkles up here upstream, but uh, nothing special. As we head into tonight, again, it's mostly cloudy. Temperatures will be slow to drop, but we should be down into the mid-30s waking up on Saturday morning. Saturday itself is definitely a cloudy and chilly day, a little bit more like late November with uh, high temperatures again, really not out of the low 40s. Much of the southern tier will be stuck in the upper 30s. And then as we see the sky clearing, temperatures take a nosedive Saturday night, dropping into the upper 20s in some spots waking up on Sunday morning. But again, Sunday from hilltop to seashore, uh, lakeshore rather, I think we've got a good supply of sunshine to enjoy and then clouds will tend to gather Sunday night. So it's mostly cloudy for tonight, just a slight chill. The overnight low temperature at 35, pinpointing a high of 40 for you in Lockport, 40 in Medina, and uh, we're up to 40 in Albion. Again, some partial sun, a lot of clouds around though, especially into uh, the first part of the day. We're at 41 in Buffalo, 42 in Kenmore, and we're looking at a top temp uh, into the southern tier that's going to be a little bit lower than elsewhere. There is your super seven-day forecast, and it's brighter, but chilly on Sunday, 44. Monday's breezy for game day, 52, uh, but not too tough to take. And as you see there, I mean, we're back into the mid-50s for the middle of next week. That's above average, and we have a shot at 60 degrees. So not bad not by bad. November standards at all.